Olympics last year, so a lot of new champions that were made. Um, great to see the women's canoeing um, enter the Olympic program as well, and then it will have some representatives from those games um, here on the line today. Um, in lane one, a combination that includes a top 10 finisher in C1 200 and 500 at Junior Worlds last year and the 2019 C1 200 and 500 U23 World Championship semifinalist from Mexico, Nicole Guzman and Lucero Mendoza. In lane two, 10th last year at the World Championships and winner of the B Finals in Tokyo last year. It's a new combination this year with Paula Gomez replacing Maria Mallard, um, Chile's Paula Gomez and Karen Rocco. In lane three, new combination from last year again with Axel Renard re replacing Laura Ruiz, seventh at Poznan earlier this year, and we'll be looking for a strong result in this race. France, Axel Renard and Eugénie d'Orange. In lane four, um, Canada's Katie Vincent and Sloane McKenzie. Canada did win bronze last year at the Tokyo Olympics with Katie and Laurence, but after Laurence's retirement, Sloane came in and, and stepped in and great results earlier this year on the World Cup. Um, circuit and Katie is the defending world champion in C1 200 representing the Mississauga Canoe Club and the Chima Aquatic Club Katie Vincent and Sloan McKenzie in lane five sixth of the Olympics last year and bronze at the world championships silver in Rachitza and gold in Poznan um, Cuba's Iradis Ladis Dubois and Catherine Segura in lane six fifth last year in Tokyo but new crew here racing the 500 bronze medalist in the C2 200 last year in Copenhagen and third in Rachitze the last year Giera Bragato and Bianca Nagy from Hungary in lane seven eighth in Copenhagen last year a different crew this year but the, we, that it does include the 2021 junior world championships fourth place finisher Spain's Maria Moreno and Maria Prats and in lane eight um, Finishers from the 2021 U23 um, World Championships and a lot of international experience from the United States, Azusa Murphy and Andrea Gizilla. And we have a start here in the first feet of the women's C2 500 meters. Again, top three heading directly to the A final. Nice shot of the Canadians here, just heading off the line. Great start um, from Sloan and Katie. The Cubans really, really strong and really fast paddlers. Lots of international World Cup medals and a great showing last year at the Olympics in Tokyo. Close start here as we're approaching the first 200 meters of this race. We have a slight headwind today, so times will be a little bit slower than, than expected, but it does look like Cuba is a slight lead over um, France and Canada here as we are approaching the 250 meter uh, spot into this race. Hungary in the mix as well as we're uh, completing this first heat of the C2500. Again, Cuba, then Hungary, and Canada at the halfway point. the last 200 meters, it does look like Cuba have a bit of a lead over Canada and then Hungary, France sticking into um, the race and really trying to have a strong finish here to earn one of those top three spots. And you can see Cuba's fast stroke rate just continuing to be light onto the paddle, generating some good power and glide versus Hungary and Canada. A little bit slower stroke rate, a little bit more power as we're entering the last 100 meter of this race. France continuing to push here and trying to make a, a push for the that third spot as they would like to qualify directly for the A final. does look like Cuba taking the win and then very, very close between Hungary, France and Canada. So we'll have to wait for the official result to, to see who's advancing directly to the A final. But great race here from, from Cuba's um, Dubois and Segura. Um, great showing from them, uh, building on some great results from last year and earlier this year at the World Cups. Yeah, lots of relief on their faces there. You can see at the finish line.
Yeah, and a number of these athletes will also be racing uh, next week at the Pan American Championships here to qualify for the Pan American Games. So expecting this crew to be one of those contenders um, to try to qualify for the Santiago 2023 Games as well. Some of these close-ups really give you an idea of just how much full body strength goes into this. Look at that. Yeah, and great glide here. You can see the Hungarians really driving those legs and getting a lot of um, a lot of power and a lot of glide in their boat. And Cuba, really high rhythm, good cadence, very together, and ensuring that that boat just continuously has some good glide as we're as they were driving throughout the 500. France just never giving up here and really able to have those last few strokes. It does look like they may have been able to come in in second place. So moving from fourth to second in a matter of 200 meters, and it looks like Hungary may have been just edged Canada out of the direct to the A final. So Canada may have to move to the semi final here to qualify for this event. Oh, it certainly was close at the end there. So we'll wait for confirmation of the official results, but great to see that uh, high five from Cuba celebrating the win and advancing directly to the final here. And we do have confirmation of those results, so 202 for Cuba's um, crew, followed by France and then Hungary, Canada, very close, 0.04 again, um, we'll have to go to the semi-final to earn a spot into the A final later this week. We look forward to seeing Katie Vincent and Sloane McKenzie uh, compete in that semifinal. And we do have one more heat to go here in the women's C2 500. That will be followed by three heats for the men. Lake Banook may just be the only race course with.